Hello, it's Brandon Wells from the Blue Crew at Cobalt Banker Legacy. And in today's Flex MLS tips and tricks, we're gonna be talking about automatic property emails as well as portals. So we're coming over from an MLS migration from Rapatoni into Flex MLS. Now, some of you had contacts and clients set up inside of Rapatoni with searches associated with them so they would be notified of property information. Now, the way that Rapatoni defines a portal or automatic email updates is it essentially was one and the same thing. They got an email and that email took them into a portal. Inside of FlexMLS, it's a little bit different. We have two different, um, different items here. We have automatic email updates, which are just property updates of whatever the criteria that you set for your client and those are emailed to them. A portal inside of FlexMLS is essentially a website that your customer or client can go to at any time, enter in some criteria, meaning uh, or credentials, their username and their password, and they can do a little bit more. They can manage their search a little bit more than they can in some other systems. So there's two ways that you can essentially set up auto emails and uh, portals. And you can do that by starting with the search and going in and putting in the criteria and then saving it and associating it with a contact. Or you can go into contacts. And if you go into contact management, which I'm gonna do right now, you can essentially work with the contact and add the search and turn on the portal for them uh, inside of here. So because all of your contacts have probably come over and their contact information, whether they were active or inactive in Rapatoni, they show up in here. If you need to add somebody new, uh, you simply come up to the top blue bar here and type in their first dot last name um, and then their email. You can put in more uh, or additional information uh, as you go, but for right now, just those things. And then you click the add button. So you'll notice I added Brandon Wells here. It tells me the portal is off. He has zero favorites. He's never logged into the portal. I don't have a phone number and there was what the email address is. So let's go ahead and let's set up some information here. So down here you have some sub tab menus and we're gonna start by clicking on searches and auto email. So right now, any of the searches that you have associated with any of your contacts or clients would be listed right here. So I need to add one because I don't have any. So again, I'm gonna hit the add button down below. And if you have any saved searches in your system, it will allow you to associate a saved search with a client. Or if you wanna go ahead and create a completely new and independent search for this person, you click on create new quick search. So then I'm gonna use the Residential Greater Albuquerque Association of Realtors search template. And I'm gonna go ahead and put in some quick criteria. I'm gonna say area 21, and they want a list price of 300 to 400,000 with bedrooms being three or more. And just to limit it a little more, I may just do single family detached. So you see now I'm down to 30 results, okay? So now, what I, you can go through all the information like you normally do, but what I wanna do is I wanna save this search. So I go up to save in the upper right hand corner, click on save, and you'll see it's already associating with uh, the person I put in. Now I mentioned at the beginning of this video you could go in to do the search first. The only difference in the step would be when you come in here to name the search, you would need to associate it with a contact. When you start in the contact section, it automatically associates here. So the first thing it's asking for is for me to name the search. One thing that's important to remember here is if you are gonna utilize the portal, your clients can see the name of the search. So you wanna do it in good taste and make it something that they understand. So I might call this uh, Brandon's ABQ Acres West Search. Okay, and all right. Now, you can give it a description if you want to, you don't have to, but if you come down here, you'll notice the prospect does not have a portal account. You can create one below. So if you don't want to use the portal, you do not have to. That does not mean that you can't send automatic emails. That just means your client doesn't have a web access to get to all of their property information. If you do want to use it, you need to associate a username. And so I typically would do something that's easy for them to remember. Like I'm going to use, um, I don't know, something like that. A first and last name and maybe a number just to be safe. 
Now, under password, you can have the system generate a password. So I just clicked on generate password here and you can see that's pretty lengthy and probably pretty hard to remember. So the only stipulation is, is that it has four characters. So you can make it as easy or complex as you want. The reason this feature is in here is for consumer privacy. And your client can always go back and change the password once they get into their portal for the first time. So I will go ahead and enter in, um, let's see here, gotta make sure it's the same on both. You gotta type it in once and then confirm it. And then you basically just hit this create, okay? And then it will also, it'll send, send my default notification to this user with their username and password. So it will send them an email with their login credentials, okay? So I'll go ahead and hit create. And now I've created the portal, but I have not set up auto emails yet. And you get that option down here at the bottom. If I hit save and add auto email, what that is gonna do is it's gonna open a window that gives me the auto email options. So at the top, what do you wanna call the auto email? And I again would just basically get rid of the word event here and just call it Brandon's ABQ Acres West Search. It asks you, do you, the agent, wanna copy? And so yes, I wanna copy every time they get property updates. And then select selected contacts. Now, you can get emails every time they view a new listing, but if you start to get too many emails and that becomes over, uh, overwhelming, just know that you can come in here and turn that off. And I will show you how to get into this at any time. And then if you need to add multiple people to be able to receive these property updates, you just type their name, their email, hit add contact, and then over here, you're gonna wanna hit add so that they show up on this list. So that's a really nice feature. You can send these updates to as many people as you want. You can also schedule them out. Choose what day of the weeks they get them or when they don't get them. If you have somebody that may not want as many property updates, you can set them up to get them monthly on a certain day. So essentially that'll just give them the last 30 days worth of information of what's come on the market and so on. Now under the view, more times than, than likely you're gonna wanna use the interactive view. It's a little bit more, um, instead of just a PDF, which is what the report view is, it's a little more interactive. You can go in there um, and kind of you know check out the data on a little bit different function than having just printer-friendly PDFs. So, so leave it on view interactive. Down here, your web page personal message is by default gonna say brought to you by and then your name. You can click on edit message right here if you wanna edit that message. All of those types of things can be edited for the entire system by going up to preferences, and I believe they're under general preferences. Down here, you can give the uh, email a subject, and then you can type anything you want to in the body down below, okay? Once you're done with that, you simply hit save, and now all of this information has been saved to your contact. You can always go into contacts, contact management, and you can see now Brandon Wells has a portal turned on, zero favorites, and he's never logged in. So if I wanna get back into there and I go into searches, you will now see I have a search associated and then you can see some results for the auto emails. Now I told you I'd show you how to get in to edit any of those settings in your auto emails and those are done right here by clicking on the link. Now the portal is on. The portal's different because the portal is a website where your client can go at any time and they can go and control and kind of classify their listings. So the portal for everybody is defaulted to portal.flexmls.com forward slash your name. Now, if you have a common name, you're gonna wanna come in here and check to make sure you know what your portal is, but you can see mine's listed right there. Now, once you go to that site, what it looks like um, I'll actually show you right here. If you go to view portal, this is what my client's portal looks like. And when they get an email for the first time or you, you know, get them set up here, they're gonna get a video tutorial as well as a PDF guide of how to utilize this portal. On the upper left, you can see the searches that are associated with them. On the right are all of the carts uh, or basically their recommended, favorited, possible listings, rejected and removed. Down in the bottom right, they can change their password if they decide to, or their contact information. And then any of the messages you ex, uh, exchange back and forth show up right here for them. So if I click on their search under provided searches, 
they get a view that's very similar to you as the agent inside of the MLS, although they don't get any of the listing agent information. They can go through and see the list view, they can see the detail view, they can see the photo view, the properties on a map, as well as any of the me messages that have been conveyed back and forth. So you'll also notice that they have these smiley faces and that's how they control their classification. On the left, the smiley face means that's one of my favorites. The middle means it's a possibility and the right is a rejected property. So basically your contacts or clients can come through and classify the listings as they would like to. And you'll notice once they do that and they go back to home, now you can start to see how it puts these into a very easily recognizable um, spot. So if they wanna get back to their favorites, they just come over here and click on favorites um, and it'll take them to their favorites list. You also see all of their favorites uh, in here. So if I refresh my screen here and, and go back into contacts, contact management, into that person and look at their portal, you now see that they had classified properties like that and I can basically see all the information. Um, so that essentially is how to set up auto emails and portals. I wanted to alleviate some of the confusion. If you ever wanna send the link to the portal to your client along with their username and password, you can use this email portal link right up here at the top. Um, and if you've got any questions, please feel free to email us at bluecrewhelp at gmail.com. I hope you'll watch some of our other tips and tricks and I hope you learned something today.